Welcome, everyone, to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean, stacking the money green. And as always, give me a follow on Twitter, at Sean T. Green. And we are, of course, brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code JUICE. Get a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first deposit. Okay, here we go. 2-1 and one on the night. I'll take it. 2-1, and one, not going to get broke. Winning money, as they like to say. Uh, two and one on the picks. And then obviously we have the Chig anytime touchdown in our back pocket. I was a guest on the uh, betting pros uh, podcast. A uh, shout out to Matt Friedman. And it was, uh, he, he pointed out that Traylon Burks looks like he is trending to be out. So uh, he even helps our Chig bet a little bit more. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, what else do we got going? It's a hoops night. Mostly you got two college, one pro pick. Uh, before we get to that, let's get to the recap. Only loser of the night, Houston plus six. Rockets lose 131 to 114. I doubted that trend. Utah as a favorite, you fade them. He threw it right in my face. It was it's like, you know, when you get a horrible, a horrible uh, meal. Does anyone do that? Does anyone actually ever? I've never returned food in my life at a restaurant. I would be so embarrassed. If it's if it sucks, I just eat it and still tip 20% and then just never come back. Uh, winner of the night. This is, I mean, again, none of these games I picked uh, for last night's slate were even close. So if you're a uh, addicted to the sweat, if you're a juicer who likes a good sweat, I apologize because there were no sweats available. Celtics minus two, uh, not even close. They destroyed uh, the Mavs 124 and 95. Apparently, Luca not feeling 100%. Uh, again, I feel like that kind of stuff comes out after, but uh, nice game for the Celtics. And they, it just seemed like a prime bounce back spot. Good team uh, coming off an embarrassing loss. And again, as much as it pains me to admit that the Celtics are a good team. Another easy winner, Nuggets minus four and a half. They destroyed the Clippers 122 to 91. I, again, just a bloodbath. Um, Clippers are a, I don't know what to make of this team. Maybe they flip it on in the playoffs, but they have just come up small in, in, in a ton of spots and just look to look to fade them against other Western conference teams. Cause they've been completely horrible. So uh, yeah, that was a, a nice little two and one night. Hey, uh, checking out, uh, getting some uh, nice Apple podcast reviews. Always appreciate when you guys toss those, uh, my way, uh, the review titled shout out. Just wanted to say you do an amazing job with the pot. Love the picks, even on the rough days. Come on. There's no rough days when you're just hanging out, talking, gambling. Can I get a shout out to Vols fan 16? I think you just did. Just wanted to see if you actually read the reviews. L O L. Yes, I do. I read all the reviews. And if you dare give me a negative review, I will challenge you personally. I uh, know. Come on. It's the holiday season. Talk, well, is it still the holiday season? You, when do you cut off saying uh, happy new year? I've, I'm still doing it to, I think till the weekend. Uh, I've taken the Christmas tree down. Holiday lights are still up outside. That's good. That's what this week is all about. All right, here we go. Two NBA picks and a college pick coming your way. Bulls at Sixers. You know, I'm taking my Sixers here. Sixers minus four. I found it over at sugar house. I'm going to guess by the time most of you are listening to this, uh, it could be as high as five and a half, five, six. Still, I like it up to six um, with the Homer alert in effect here. But uh, this team, uh, and if you guys didn't know, uh, J- uh, Joel Embiid is out for the game. That's why this line is so low. But I, mean, I don't know if you saw James Harden's playing defense. He had a block. I mean, talk about new you, James Harden with a block. Are you kidding me? Harden playing defense. Look out. Again, Embiid's out, but I, I like the. I, I still think they have a pretty good team here with Harden, Tobias, and Maxi. I like them at home. They've been amazing at home. They're 15 and 6 ATS at home. And the Bulls, they're consistently banged up. And they don't do well in Philly. 1 and 7 ATS, uh, their last 8 in Philly. And uh, they, uh, Philly's just owned the Bulls in general. 0 oh and 12. Their last 12, the Bulls are. So for me, it's a pretty easy play here on the Sixers, even without Embiid. They've they've seemingly stepped up and they figured it out. Uh, and again, James Harden, maybe maybe play him at the five. No, now now we're getting crazy. Uh, Sixers minus four is the play. Next up, Knicks at Raptors. 
This could be an emotional play. If I'm being honest, if I'm handicapping my own handicapping, very annoyed at the Raptors performance against the Bucks. So I'm fading them here, taking the Knicks a plus three and a half. Um, you know, my personal bias against the Raptors right now, aside the Knicks, they're road dogs. Uh, they're 13 and six ATS on the road and, and they're a very streaky team, right? They get super hot. I think they won eight in a row, then lost five in a row. Right now, they're on a hot streak. They've won three in a row. Uh, again, the Raptors couldn't get it done against, I mean, like half the Bucks team was sick. Uh, they were playing a back-to-back -back road game in international. Uh, you know, like there was just so much going wrong for that Bucks team, and they still pulled it out. I, I guess if you want to go against the pick, you're talking to yourself in the idea of like, hey, the Raptors, they fell asleep in that first half. They came back, but they still blew it in overtime. So I, I, I'm out on them again, um, kind of joking around here with, with the reasons to fade them, but really it, this is just a play on the Knicks on the road. Um, Knicks are a grinded out team, right? And second in the league in rebounds per game on the road. So if you're giving me a team like the Knicks that are going to get the boards, going to crash the glass on the road, I think inherently uh, you get a good value here. I just don't think the Raptors should be favored. If you want to sprinkle some on the money line here, I like that. So, uh, yeah, give me Knicks plus three and a half. You know what else I like talking about steaks. I'll be, I mean, uh, Omaha steaks, even if they didn't pay me. Uh, or pay the show, I would still want to talk about Omaha Steaks. I bring up Omaha Steaks in my personal life. It's because it's delicious. Uh, I love a great steak. I mean, the the steaks they have with the bacon wrap fillets, those things are delicious. Throw it on the uh, grill. I, I mean, the sound of a delicious steak sizzling is just, you can't deny it. And uh, their other stuff too is great. I know it's called Omaha Steaks, and you think, just steaks? No. Awesome seafood, great pork, delicious chicken. I get some chicken that's, uh, from the grocery store. It's just never as good as the Omaha steak chicken. Uh, I, there's never been a, a, an item at Omaha steaks that I didn't enjoy eating. The food is just delicious delivered right to your house. Great gift. And again, it's the best steak of your life. You only live once. Life's too short to eat crappy steaks. Go to OmahaSteaks.com. Use the promo code juice, get up to $30 off your order. And again, if you don't like it, 100% money back guarantee, which I, they must never fill out claims because you can't be honest with yourself. Eat this steak and say you don't like it. Use the promo code juice. Get $30 off. Minimum order may be required. OmahaSteaks.com. Promo code juice. All right. We're about to find out if the juice is worth the squeeze on this play. Stanford is playing Cal, college basketball. Uh, Cal is an eight-point home dog. I'm taking them. I'm taking them. Now you look at Cal's record. You're saying two and 13. What are you doing, Sean? They're horrible. Okay. I hear you. I, I hear you there, but this is the, this is when Cal shows up. First off they're two and 13, but they won two out of their last three, including a win over Colorado. Uh, and you look at the, the advanced metrics. They're not pretty for Cal, but this is not a numbers game. This is a situational spot. I love situational spots, college basketball, love situational spots in college football. Um, one uh, number that does go in Cal's favor, they shoot 74% from the line and they're a home dog. That to me is a formula to cover plus eight. Um, Cal also covers the three well and Stanford, a uh, bottom of the country or near the bottom in shooting the three. So if you can't guard, the, if you can guard the three and Cal, Stanford doesn't shoot a ton, you think that really increases your chances to cover a plus eight, but really this is just a rivalry game on a Friday night at home this is the perfect formula this is cal super bowl if they had super bowls in college basketball this would be it for cal who is again is two and 13 but that's why they're getting eight points as a home dog in a rivalry game give me the cal bears all right so here's what we got cal plus eight then the knicks plus three and a half then the sixers minus four and you're good to go. Remember omahasteaks.com promo code juice, bet MGM promo code juice. Get that thousand dollar risk free bet on your first deposit. Follow us on TikTok at betting pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T green. Check out my other podcast, the sports gambling podcast. Uh, check me out. Uh, did a cameo over in the uh, betting pros podcast as well. Feel free to check that out. And you guys know what to do. Subscribe rate and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.